What is going on outlaws? Once again, Michael or Legacy Kill HD here, and today we're going to be discussing Red Dead Redemption 2. And today's going to be a shorter video, but we're going to be breaking down the possible next reveal for this game because Rockstar Games may have gave us an indication of when we should be getting it. And also, closer to the end of the video, we'll be discussing some of the things that we want to see included in this next Red Dead title. But if you've missed any of the past Red Dead Redemption 2 videos, make sure you check out the link in the description to the playlist. A lot of amazing news, information, and theories about this upcoming game that you're not going to want to miss, so make sure you give that a look. Nonetheless, let's start off with this. There's been an image that's been floating around, a lot of people saying that this could be Red Dead Redemption 2, but it is not real. It's a fake, and it actually comes from a banned photo of Nero UK. I tweeted out this a while ago. They even retweeted it themselves, saying that it's not attributed to Red Dead Redemption 2. It's actually a photo of their band. Either way, there are a lot of leaks that are going around right now, a lot of them fake, and this is just one of them. And I wanted to point that out as I've received some messages about it, and I've even seen some YouTube videos going around. But the only leaks that appear to be the real deal are the ones that I discussed in a video about a week ago. If you have haven't seen that video make sure you give it a look but nonetheless what's within it is the leaked world map that was shown in April of 2016 that was verified by Tech Radar an early alpha in-game image of Red Dead Redemption 2 that was found from a Rockstar game employees portfolio we also have some character development art that came from a former Rockstar game employees portfolio but again these are the ones that appear to be the real deal everything else is fake at the moment and there will be more fakes to come in the next coming months but I will make sure to update you guys on anything that appears to be the real deal so make sure you subscribe for any additional Red Dead Redemption to content to come, but if you do find anything that looks legit, make sure to tweet it at me or send a message on Facebook, and I'll let you know if it's real or fake. Nonetheless, outlaws, let's move on to the next part of this video, and we're going to be discussing the next possible reveal of this upcoming title. Just recently, Rockstar Games announced a new game mode for Grand Theft Auto Online, but what's interesting is that this event will only last two weeks, and it will end on Monday, November 21st. And the last time that Rockstar Games did this was when they announced Red Dead Redemption 2. So this definitely could be an indication that Rockstar Games has something planned for Red Dead Redemption 2 before November ends. And if that is the case, I don't expect it to be anything huge. It could be just some images from the game, maybe showing off the vast and beautiful open world, or even introducing us to some of the new characters within the game. But again, it's probably going to be something small. And if anything is going to be happening, it's probably going to be happening at that PlayStation Experience event on December 3rd and 4th. As I said in a recent video, I expect that to be the big event. I think that if we do get anything, it may be another trailer for the game. But again, with Rockstar Games once again shortening a Grand Theft Auto Online event, it definitely seems like we could be getting some more images or trailers from Red Dead Redemption 2 very, very soon. Now to our last news topic of the day, we're going to be taking a look at a recent Rockstar Games job listing that may give us an indication of where Red Dead Redemption 2 is in its development cycle. Rockstar Games' headquarter location in New York City recently posted a job listing for a game security engineer, and this job listing is specifically meant to defend the game from cheaters, hackers, exploiters, and any other troublemakers. Now the real reason why this is important is because already in the past we saw that Rockstar Rockstar Games is hiring game testers for Rockstar San Diego. We also saw that Rockstar Lincoln was hiring translators for a new game. And not to mention all the other job listings that I've discussed in the past that make you think that Red Dead Redemption 2 is near completion. And now with this recent job listing, it definitely seems like Rockstar Games could be finishing up on the online portion. Which may be the reason why they're bringing in game security engineers to fall out any of the technical issues to make sure that nobody can exploit the game when it does come out. And the remaining months till its fall of 2017 release could be just polishing up the title and making sure that we have post-launch content to come for probably the Red Dead Online portion. Anyway Outlaws, let me know what you think in the comment section below about this recent Red Dead Redemption 2 news. Nothing too huge, but it definitely is some very interesting news that I wanted to make sure I deliver to you guys. Now let's move on to the last part of this video, and that's going to be going over some of the things that we want to see included in Red Dead Redemption 2. And the first of which is the level of mature content we'll be seeing. There's a few aspects that go along with this, such as sexual content, killing enemy, and I'm specifically going to be discussing the amount of gore that we'll be seeing. That was one of the funnest parts about Red Dead Redemption, such as killing an enemy with the explosive rifle, or even putting them in front of a train, so it's definitely going to be something that a lot of us will be hoping to see within Red Dead Redemption 2. And the only reason why I bring this up is because a lot of other video game titles seem to have backtracked on this and censored a lot of the aspects of that. And I'm really hoping that Rockstar Games just adds upon this with the amount of sexual content that we'll be seeing. I'm definitely thinking that we'll probably see some brothels within the game, and I think that all of us have to expect that our main character is not going to be like John Marston, who was the family guy and avoided all of that. And in terms of gore, I just hope that they add upon it. I don't think that it needs to be like the Hateful Eight where there's just blood everywhere. And in terms of mature language, it would be interesting to see how far Rockstar Games stretches it. But now to the last thing of the day that I want to see included in Red Dead Redemption 2, and that is the bow and arrow. With this upcoming title more than likely having a stronger presence of the Native Americans within it, you have to expect that we're going to see a lot more Native American weaponry and even items within the title. And one of those has to be the bow and arrow. It was one of the most wanted weapons within Red Dead Redemption, but we 
unfortunately did not get it. And if Rockstar Games is going along the lines of having a Native American conflict alike to what Red Dead Redemption had with the Mexican Civil War, you have to expect that we're going to have more of a weapon variety, and this is one of the weapons that I think a lot of us would love to see. But anyway, Outlaws, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smack that like button if you did enjoy the video or found any informative value. Also, drop down in the comments. Let me know how you feel about the topics that we discussed today, and if you have not already, make sure you go over to my second channel. Got a Red Dead Redemption walkthrough that will be coming very, very soon, working on that at the moment. And also, consider subscribing on this channel for a lot more additional Red Dead Redemption 2 content to come. And remember, Outlaws to the end.